Now to create virtual LAN using packet tracer, we are in the packet tracer and for that we need a switch. So I have selected a switch from here and just put in the workspace and then we need PC. So select PC and PC and then one, uh, two, three, four, I think four, um, okay, maybe five, okay. And uh, then let's say we want to put these three PCs in VLAN 1 and these two PCs in VLAN maybe 2. Okay, so first we are going to connect them. So for connection, we need a straight through cable. So from here and from the switch, we selected F01, and then again from here, we are selecting F02 and in this same way F03 uh, and then F04 and then F05 so from F01 to F05 all these interfaces have been used to connect these computers with the switch okay now we need to give an IP address to this, so I'm selecting maybe 192.168.1.1, so dot one to that dot five. So same from this to the final, we will give it five, sorry five. So we are going to assign the IP addresses to this. So desktop and here. 192.168.1.1 submit mask and in the same way we need to do it for real time the same way here desktop and 192.168.1.2 and sorry it is 192.168.1.2 and the submit mask and now here 192.168.1.3 click for submit mask and now it says 192.168.1.4 and uh, so this was okay this was 192.168.1 dot 5 so we just interchange so this is 5 now this is 4 so this is 3 okay it doesn't matter anyway if we have 5 PCs connected to the switch now without virtual LAN this switch is actually a, a single broadcast domain so if there is a broadcast frame that will be sent to all of these nodes and uh, we want to avoid that situation by creating more VLAN well, first see what happens actually here. So, for example, we want to ping from this PC to maybe this PC. Let's see what happens by going to simulation mode. We are in the simulation mode, and uh, then we edit filters. We are just using ARP. If you remember, then ARP is the address resolution protocol to to map IP address and the physical address or the MAC address, okay? So we are using these two protocols and we select this packet and from here to here we want to ping it and for that we play this, okay? So you see first the packet goes to the, to the switch and then a switch doesn't have the MAC address then it will broadcast to all of the nodes. Do you see, if you notice that this is sent to all of them. Okay, so anyway, so this you can see that in this case, the broadcast frame is sent to all of the nodes or computers connected with the switch. But now we want to create two virtual LANs so that this, this, this VLAN, for example, let us use some color from here. VLAN color may be this one, okay. And then we are, going to say that this is our one VLAN, so this will be our one broadcast domain, 
and for next one maybe we use some other color maybe we this one okay and now this is our second vlan okay so we want to create two vlans like this so for that what we need to do i hope you remember from there in our uh, powerpoint slides so we need to go to privilege mode and then global configuration mode here just we say vlan and then vlan id so vlan 10 we created vlan just by using this simple command okay and we say the name of this vlan is maybe newbie okay so this is the name of newbie uh, vlan 10 and then maybe exit and again vlan 20 so this is second vlan we, which we are going to create so this is second vlan vlan 20 and let's give any name to it maybe UV 20 so this is the name of second vlan for example this is let's say this is uh, our vlan 10 and let's say we want to make this vlan 20 this this is vlan 20 now this, this is the vlan 10 it means this pc this pc means this port and this port should be in vlan 10 so what we need to do we just go to the interface so interface and i think this is s01 so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 this is the first port which is connecting this pc with this switch so we are in the interface once we are in, in the interface we, we need to say that switch port switch port so sw tab switch port and access access vlan 10 so this command will put the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 port into vlan 10 so now this port do you, do you, do you see the uh, do you notice this change in color so this port is the member of vlan 10 now let's suppose that we want to go to other interface that is fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and here we again need to use same command so switch port access so i use the arrow keys to go or to see uh, the previously used command so switch port access vlan 10 using the same command we have changed this port into uh, we have made this port the member of vlan 10 okay and there was another command that's also good to use that is switch port mode access so switch port mode access and if you uh, in the same way so we created vlan 10 and we have assigned some members to them some ports as a member to this vlan okay now if you want to see this for instance if you want to see that what is the situation then we can say show vlan brief maybe she will show vlan brief so here you can see we have a vlan 10 name is ub10 and this is active and these two ports are the members of this vlan and for the next vlan that's vlan 20 here this is active active but then at the moment there are no ports assigned to this vlan in other words there are no ports who are the members of vlan 20 because we have not assigned them and rest of the ports are the members so these all remaining ports are the members of vlan 1 so vlan 1 is actually the by default vlan which is already there in the switch we don't need to create them and even we cannot delete them as well so this will always be there the rest of the ports are the members of vlan 1 we created these vlans and now we are going to assign some ports to these vlan 20 so what we need to do we need to go to these interfaces these three interfaces okay so uh, now we are going to select first we need to go to global configuration mode so by config t we are in global configuration mode here 
if we want to select all of these ports then we have a command that is interface range and that is fast ethernet fast ethernet from so how many ports are there there are three ports one two this is from three if you just use it so this this is three and this is four and this is five so select from here inter interface rank for ethernet from three to five but before that we need to give zero here zero slash three to five so we selected all of the ports from number three to five Okay, so we selected a range of interfaces here and then we say switch for uh, access VLAN this time 20. So now these interfaces are going to be the part of VLAN 20 and you say switch for more access for all of them and press enter and control Z better to copy all these running config into our startup config we did it we saved all the things in the startup configuration okay so now we have actually created two vlans one of the vlans is vlan 10 second is vlan 20 and we have grouped them together so if we want to see again it, then we can sorry we can use this command. So that is we can see show VLAN brief. So now you can see that in new B10 we have these ports, and in new B20 other VLAN ID20 has these three ports. So we have created these two ports. So, and this is the by default by default VLAN. So we have created these two VLANs. We want to just ping or check from this node to this node because they are in the same VLAN. So we hope this should work. So let's see. We select this packet here and here, and then we say close for ping. And now let's see what's doing this switch. Great. You can see the switch sent to the PC which was in the same VLAN. But it did not send to this VLAN because this was different VLAN. Okay. So if this switch wants to send some broadcast message, then this will be within its own VLAN. This will not cross the other VLAN. Exactly in the same way, let's suppose that we want to check this one. So what we need to do, click here here and here and then say go for ping and check the connectivity let's see we can see the switch has sent the broadcast to both of them and this actually shows that this is not the MAC address of that so actually this is using ARC protocol address resolution protocol so this is how we we created two different VLANs and we saw that the the broadcast message from this VLAN or VLAN 20 are not going to cross the boundary of this into this. So in this way we have created two different broadcast domains and on the basis of that we say that we created two VLANs. Okay. So this broadcast will remain in this VLAN and this broadcast will remain in this VLAN. Uh, so it, so this is how we created this by using simple commands to different VLANs. Now you may be wondering that if we want to forward some traffic from this VLAN to this VLAN, then what to do? So sure, the Cisco has provided a solution for that as well and we will see in our next video. Uh, thank you for today.